welcome to this BC Designs with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own watermark using Photoshop. Okay, so you're going to start with 100 by 100 inches and make sure you change background contents to transparent. So then press OK, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it in the end. So wait till it comes up. Well, if you don't know what a watermark is, it's the thing that goes in your videos. To I don't know. I have it in one of my videos. I forgot in which one. Okay, so came up big. Stretch it out and then make a new layer. Make a new layer. And you're going to get this round tool and make a circle. Square, whatever. It's not really your choice. Make it into a square. Okay, so that's good. Wait till it goes up. Okay, then get your paint bucket tool. And okay, once it's there, you're gonna center it. It's pretty centered right there. And you're gonna add text or whatever. I'm gonna be adding a stroke. Double click it. And stroke, and let's see. I'm gonna make this black. <coughs> I repeat, um, my website's not working right now. Okay, so my website's not working. So if you want the code for the MySpace layout, message me. So, okay, get a black and quite big. Okay, once you're there, you're gonna add some text. Okay, so. Okay, wait. Sorry about that, my computer is acting dumb with me today. Okay. So you're gonna Okay, so I'm just gonna center this. Make it a little bigger. And I'm gonna change the font to this one. Well, I got this font for the font dot com. Put the links in the description. And my brushes, I get them from DeviantArt dot com. I don't know how to say it. I put all the links that I just said in the description. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, so that's good. After you're done with that, I'm gonna put some lens flare, render, and lens flare. Oh wait, no, I can't. So right here, okay. It's gonna be in render and lens flare. I'm gonna put it like in the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so you could add more text. You could add a brush. I'm gonna add some stripes to it. Wait, no. No. I just add a brush. No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So once you're done with that, you're gonna put file, save as. Make sure you save it as a JPEG. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a long time. I I've been sick. I'm just. 
Oh, wait. Wait. Save it as a JPEG, sorry. Okay, so save it as a JPEG. Call it anything, call it watermark. No, just logo. Okay, then save and. Press OK. Then, once you're done with that, you're gonna use a close Photoshop. Gonna go to your pictures. And go saved it. And it's right there, as you can see. It's right there. So then you just add it to Contesia Studio. Oh, I, I only think it works for that. I don't know. Uh, I use Camtasia Studio. If you guys want to know what screen recorder I use, just add it. I'll make a, another video on how to put a watermark in the video. Uh, thanks for watching and please comment, rate, subscribe.